Hey, Tamar. How you doing? Good. Yeah, how you doing? Good. Just curious uh, how you would assess your play in your in the first your first game at IU. I think you played 14 minutes, had six points. Just going back and watching on film, what, what do you feel like you did well and, and what uh, did you see that maybe you need to work on uh, going into the second game? Um, I, I would say, you know, just a tad bit better shot selection, you know, for myself, just knowing that I know where my spots are on the court and, you know, just getting to them. And then, you know, defensively, just making sure I'm staying locked in on the scout for long periods of time. You know, obviously, like you said, I played 14 minutes, but, you know, that wasn't really much of my concern or focus going into the game. You know, I was just going to – whatever minutes I did get, you know, I was going to make sure I went, went out there and tried to make as many winning plays as possible. Thanks. Tom Brew. Tomorrow, what was your uh, what were your nerves like? Did uh, a lot of jitters, nervousness, or how did you feel? How did you feel? Were you comfortable or no? I mean, I, I was pretty comfortable. I mean, because at the end of the day, you know, like last night, like, or like just leading up to the game, like Monday night, I was just like, you know, all, all this is is basketball. Like that's what we came here to do. Obviously, you know, the the, the fans are back and. You know, everyone's going to be loud, excited, but we came here to execute a game plan and, and win the game. So I'm all out. My um, my mindset coming into it was just like, you know, I've been playing basketball almost my whole life. So, you know, this is just obviously my first college game. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm excited, but I'm just like at the end of the day, it's, it's hope. Dustin. Uh, Tamar, I think uh, Race was just on. He said you're one of the most confident kids he's ever been around. And I know I talked to your coach at IMG back when you uh, committed, and he just said that you basically took a sort of command leadership role as fast as anybody he's ever seen in, in that program, the way it operates. Where does that come from for you, uh, basically? What, what allows you to have that kind of mindset and, and carry yourself with that kind of confidence when you're going into new places like you have? Um, I mean, I would say... First of all, just like, you know, how my dad and, and my mom, how they raised me just to, you know, be sure of myself and be someone who, you know, not just like just talks about doing something, but actually does like shows it by example, like by your actions, you know, just always, you know, just putting in the work and, you know, whatever you want to do, you, you can do. You just have to, you know, do the hard part, which is put the work in and go through that that slow grind process. But, you know. I kind of, you know, fell in love with the grind and, you know, I, I'm, again, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, you know, reps are moved out and just like, you know, when you put the time in, and you know, you're, you're putting hours in, eventually it's going to, you know, come to light. But outside of that, you know, just always working, you know, just trying to be a motivator and, you know, a constant talker for the team. Jim Coyle. Hey, Tamar, in the 14 minutes that you played, what did you learn it's in your first college game, as you mentioned? What did you learn on the floor? What did you learn at the on the bench while the game was going on? And what did Coach Woodson tell you to give the wisdom? What did he give you after the game? Um, I mean, what I learned, like, from being able to watch is that, I mean, obviously, like, on all levels, you know, it's a game of runs, and you got to be able to withstand, you know, the other team's runs, and or you can, you know, stop those and, you know, be able to continue playing the way you did, you know, coming out of the gate. But I would just say I, I learned, you know, that, you know, you have to play the full 40 minutes and, you know, we, we're we going to continue to try and work towards that to where we're playing a full game and at, at a high level like we um, expect ourselves to. But, you know, um, in terms of Coach Wilson, I mean, he, he, he was, of, of course, you know, he had like some things to tell me about my game because, you know, we can always improve. And, you know, he, he was fine with, you know, what I did out there on the floor. But obviously, you know, we want to be better defensively. I want to be better defensively. And, um, you know, again, like I said earlier, just making sure I'm taking good shots because, you know, he doesn't really, like, say anything about anyone shooting the ball. But we have to, like, know the difference between a good shot and a bad shot. And then even a get going from a good shot to a great shot. So, you know, just making sure that we're – you know, doing our part on the offensive end. Tyler. Hey, tomorrow. Hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to go back to the the leadership part. Like, is that something you remember? Like, when you when you were growing up and playing on like youth teams, were you like the same way, like leadership wise? And is that something that 
uh, came to you naturally? Or is that something that you have like consciously kind of had to work on? I mean, I, I would say that that's something that I've always had. I mean, even just being in school and like my teachers would tell me like, you're, you're a natural born leader, just like how I would conduct myself. And, you know, I, I just kind of always want things to be a certain way. And like, you know, we want to do things like the right way. Like if we're going to do something, let's do it the right way. Let's do it how it's supposed to be done. And, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just like, yeah, it, it's something that I've always been accustomed to. And, you know, obviously you, I'm going to continue to work on it. Cause I mean, it's a lot of things that I still got to figure out. Like what, what are like the buttons I can push on this guy to like get him to raise his level of play or what, what can I say? What can I not say to him? So obviously it's like some things that I still have to work on it, you know, and with, with the coaching staff and the older guys we have on the team, you know, I'm getting better at that every day. Lastly. Hey, Tamar, we saw a lot of different rotations there in the backcourt uh, in the opener. Obviously, didn't shoot the ball great um, for the night, but just how good can this backcourt unit be going forward? I mean, we're, we're, we're going to be successful. I mean, we believe in each other. We believe in ourselves. And, you know, we're, we're continuing to put the work in and learning each other's games. You know, we'll, you know, get better because obviously it's a process. We're not just going to come together as a new team and staff and just, you know, be at the, like, our highest level immediately. So obviously we still have some learning to do of each other, another team. And, you know, as time goes on and we do that and we continue to get these practices in and just being around each other on and off the court, I feel like, you know, this backcourt, you know, there, there is no ceiling for us. Kevin. I think Kamari knows from you and maybe a few, even a few other players is uh, bank shots uh, using the glass. Uh, I'm wondering, uh, how much is that a part of your game and, or is that something that's been passed on by the coaching staff? I mean, um, that, I didn't shoot any I mean, shots off the glass or anything, but I mean, that, that's something that I work on every day. And, you know, just like when we're in the gym, you know, we, you know, work on your bank shot a little bit, like from different angles and, you know, obviously like around the rim, but I mean, you know, the coaches do want us to play fundamental and using glass is, you know, a fundamental part of the game. So that's something that we all kind of try to work on. Finish up with uh, Schumann and Pegram. Yeah, Tamar, I want to go back to that leadership topic. Um, what are what are the specific challenges of trying to take on that kind of role as one of the youngest guys on the team? How, how have you navigated that? Well, I mean, being a young guy, I usually – people expect freshmen not to talk as much or not try to assume a role of leadership and, you know, rightfully so, because there are guys in front of you who have established themselves at, you know, this school and, you know, at other schools. But I mean, the way that, you know, I try to go about it is just to show with my play, you know, cause I don't really have a, I didn't have a voice really coming in. I mean, I do, but I mean, that's something that comes along with, you know, you playing well and showing the guys that you're dedicated and you're, you're as locked in as anybody else on the team. On your focus on a common goal and you know but that that's just something that you know that for me personally i have to do with my play i mean that that's the only way you can really get people to respect your game and respect you as a person last question peaks yeah tomorrow which of the older guys were were really helpful for you uh making this transition to college and what might be some of the things they have said or done that's that's been helpful too um, I mean, well, we were just on here with race. I mean, that, that's been my guy since I got here. You know, we're our lockers are right next to each other in the in cook and in assembly. And, you know, you know, we we chatted up every day and then being guys that aren't relatively close to Indiana, you know, we want to make sure we are, we're we're both always good and just constantly checking on each other's mental state and obviously physical, but you know, it's it's nothing really like too specific. I mean, obviously like there's things like on the court like different like scenarios or just like different like plays that we see out there on the floor, them having more experience, you know, they can, you know, help me, help me out a lot. Cause it's only so much I know being a freshman, but obviously again, you know, it's basketball and then, and then just another guy in the back would be Rob, you know, he's been a great mentor for me since I got here. And, you know, I'm just going to continue to follow those guys lead. Thanks.